Hi, welcome to Nina in the Kitchen. Today I'm making a dish. This is a classic throughout Italy. It's peas and ham and pasta. It's such a simple dish. It's quick, it's easy, it's great any time of year, but especially in the summer when you don't want to hang out in the kitchen for hours. So here we go, very simple. I'm going to start with olive oil. Just a couple tours in a pan. This is a 10 inch skillet. And to that I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter. That was four tablespoons, about a quarter cup of onion. And this is about 140 grams, one third of a cup of prosciutto. Prosciutto ham in the United States is um, what is called speck in Italy. So I don't know what you call it, but that's what it is. The other ingredients here, let me show you. This is one cup of frozen peas. That's about 150 grams of peas. And these were frozen, I let them thaw. So that's one thing. The other thing is, this is pasta. You always want to use a short cut of pasta in this. I chose orchietti today. This is 170 grams, which is six ounces. The reason I chose this is because these peas are going to get caught in there and make a tasty little bite. I have water boiling in the back, which is salted. I'm just going to drop the pasta. This will take 11 minutes. This won't even take that long. So the sauce cooks at the same time the pasta does, which is such a great thing. So I'll be right back. This is starting to brown, which is a really nice texture with the pasta. I'm going to add peas. And instead of the prosciutto, you can also use pancetta. You can even use ham, but um, really those Italian cured products are the best. I'm just going to cook this for another minute and let it sit. All that I'm going to do is take some basil, some fresh basil. You can use mint for this. You could also use parsley. And you just spread it around. I'm just tearing these leaves. You want about two tablespoons of basil for this. This basil is so fragrant when it hits the heat. Now, the next part of this, I'm going to use some of the pasta water. So I'm just going to wait for the pasta to finish cooking. That'll be another three minutes. And then we can put it all together and there's dinner. The pasta came off. I reserved one cup of water. I don't expect that I'm going to need all of this, but you never know. Do not throw all of your water away. You're going to need it for this. The bottom of this pan has little brown bits on it. So you can just use some of that. And remember, this is your sauce. This is part of the genius of the Italian kitchen. Look at this. You're making a sauce. You're cleaning your pan. <laughs> it's, it's got a lot of flavor. And we're going to start with, this is about four tablespoons of Romano cheese. You can also use Parmesan, but you want to you want to use a really good cheese here. And that's it. You just pour this over the top. Finish with another little drizzle of oil. You always want to finish with the fat that you used when you started cooking this. And you want to bring this to the table. This is nice. Now you see there's just a little bit of water at the bottom. I hope you can see that. So that will be the sauce for this. Um, whichever cheese you use, you want to serve with this on, at the table. Let me just take a little taste. That's really perfect. The texture of the orchetti, I love that. But you can also use penne. Any shortcut pasta that will catch the, these peas is what you want to do. The ham in here is just salty enough. Notice the only thing that was salted was the water for the pasta. I didn't use any salt or pepper in here. Of course, you can add that if you'd like. I don't think you need it. Between the cheese and the prosciutto, this is really, really lovely. I hope you try this. So easy. In the time it takes to make your pasta, you have a dinner on the table. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.